Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau na Puahala Puno Ikekai. My name is Kumu Kanoi and we are coming to you live from Nu'uanu Valley, right on the island of O'ahu here in Hawaii. <laughs> Scared myself there. <laughs> um, we are so excited to be back with you. I know that a number of you are wondering, hey, what happened to Saturday Hula? Um, I am a school teacher at one of the local schools here, Punahou School, and we had our commencement ceremony on Saturday. So I was very involved in the music and helping um, a good friend of mine with making sure all of their, their music and singing was just perfect for graduation. So thank you folks for giving me the day off, like it or not. Um, but we didn't have hula on Saturday, and uh, last time we were at hula was last week, Tuesday. It feels like a long time ago. I, I don't know about you folks, but it feels like ages ago. Uh, it was actually the 1st of June when we started, just a week ago, um, Maki Ailana, which is our hula for this month on Tuesdays. There are five verses. We only covered one verse last week, so even if you weren't here last week, don't worry about it. You'll be able to catch up. I'm going to review it again today, and we're going to go on to the second verse. So lots to do, uh, give you a little bit of history and background, and I want to say a hello to a bunch of you too. So if you haven't already, let us know where you're checking in from in the comments, but I believe it's time. Aloha and welcome back. So on our Tuesday hula classes, it's um, about 5 p.m. for us here in Hawaii, but I know it may be a different time for you because our dancers and our students are joining us from all over the world. So we want to make sure to say aloha to a few of you. So let's start. We have Hayato, Takaoka, Aloha no, Aloha Avakea, uh, Veronica Mares joining us from Mexico. Aloha no, Veronica. Sharon Al Curtis joining us from right here on the island of Oahu over in Halava, Halava Hale, we call it. Um, Akemi, one of my longtime students all the way in Tokyo, Japan. Aloha, Akemi. Nice to see you. Barbara in Kailua Kona. Hey, Barbara. Nora, also in Mexico. Yes. Oh, Fern Olson joining us from the Lone Star State. Yeehaw, Fern. Welcome back. And Michelle. Aloha no, Michelle. Michelle is in Louisiana, I believe, Denham, Denham Springs. So, aloha, Michelle. Kanoi, thank you for that congratulations on commencement. It's about to be our, um, what is it called? Alumni reunion we're celebrating this year. So, aloha to the other Kanoi. Uh, let's see, Linda from Sleepy, Pennsylvania. We'll try to amp up the energy for you, Linda, a little bit. Laura from Mexico City, aloha no. Also, Coco Coco, also in Mexico, aloha. Uh, Rosa Linda joining us from Central Florida. Manahula Circle, the gang, joining us from Japan. Aloha in Japana. Shannon in Victoria, BC. Janet from Philadelphia. Thank you, folks, for being with us and for um, coming back for hula. So we're going to be jumping in. But uh, before we do, we want to focus a little bit on our basics before we jump into the choreography. So I'm going to cover all of the basic steps that we will be using in verses 1 and 2 of Maki Ailana. So before we get into the song, let's do a little bit of basics. So the first thing, of course, is going to be uh, just a very simple sway back and forth. So that's going to be our ka-o. The ka-o is just a sway. Our style that I was taught from my kumu, le momi i maldonado, is very flat-footed, and you just shift the weight in the hips. So I'm going to move so that you can see my feet and hopefully they will stay flat because that's where they're supposed to be. Hands are locked into your waist, fingers to the front, thumbs to the back. And oh, <laughs> then we're going to, oh, we're going to bend our knees down. And then we're just going to sway right and left, ka-o to the right and left, ka-o right, ka-o left, ka-o right, 
ka'ola. Keep it going. Try and keep the shoulders as still as you can, still if possible. That's your ka'o. Very good. Okay, the next step that we're going to do, of course, is also a very basic step. And this one is called the ka'holo. Holo means to run, but there's no running involved. Too sweaty to be running. So ka'holo just means the moving or the, the traveling. So for the ka'holo, hands are on your waist, feet are slightly apart, and we're going to take four steps to the right and then change direction. So bend your knees down, nice and soft knees. Let's loosen up the hips. Okay, we're going to go to the right, four steps, ready, holo, right, two, three, and left. Sometimes you'll hear me abbreviate as just holo. That's the same step as ka'holo. So again, to the right step, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap, to the right, two, three, and sometimes we take this imua going forward, kaholo imua, and kaholo i hope. I'm going to show you hopefully with the vavai cam so you can see when I move forward and back, together, back, tap, kaholo imua, going forward, and holo to the back again, imua, going forward, and hope to the back. Now, when we're in this view, we'll stay in this view, um, even though it says step together, step tap, don't be so focused on step together, step tap, and step together, step tap. It's not as important that the feet come together, but more that we move in a forward and back motion, okay? So we'll come back to the regular view. That was two variations on the kaholo, going side to side, and then going forward and back. Let's try once again. Ready, set, kaholo to the right, step right, two, three, and left, e more going forward and going forward and e hope it to the back, back, two, three, very good. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you a different variation on the kaholo that has a totally different name. It's called the kaholo al al. Kaholo al al literally means the kaholo that turns side to side. So this is a side front turning vamp. Um, and the best way to explain this to you is that if this is your center point where you're standing right now, the kaholo ao ao, you're going to take your foot behind and you're going to rock back on that foot. Then you're going to return to the front, bring the feet together, and then you have a tap with the opposite foot. Then you're going to rock back on the opposite foot. Rock back, front, together. Tap. Let me show you the vavai cam so that you can see that a little bit more clearly. So we're going to turn to the right foot first. So moving with the right foot, rocking back, rock back, come front, together, tap, rock back, front, together, tap. Now what you want to make sure that you're not doing, you don't want to go back and then bring the feet together. You have to come back front again, okay? So put your weight on the left foot and we're going to step back on the right foot. Ready, set, here we go, rock back, come front, together, tap, rock back, front, together, tap, rock back, together, tap, rock back, front, together, tap. Now I want you to see my whole body so you can see what's happening with my upper body as we turn. So let's do that kaholo ao ao turning, ready, go to the right, two, three, tap to the left, two, three, tap to the right, two, three, and to the left. One more time, turning to the right, two, three, and back, left, two, three. So that's gonna be your kaholo ao ao, and you're gonna get that a little bit later in verse two, okay? So that's your kaholo ao ao. Next up, we have called the o, okina o with a kahako over the top. The o is also gonna be side facing, but instead of facing to this wall first, we're gonna turn to the wall on your left. So turn your body, facing uh, profile, and hands on your waist. Your right foot is going to be the one moving. Your left foot is planted. Try and keep this foot uh, flat to the ground from the toe to the heel. Don't let it, uh, the back foot, I should say. The front foot is the one that's going to move. Okay, ready, set, here we go. Forward and turn again with the left. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, we're turning all the way. Right foot, and this is the O, left foot. And now right foot and push, turn, thrust that hip, okay? So that's called the O. 
Now, a similar step to what we just did, but we're going to stay facing forward. This one is called Cavelu. So the Cavelu is going to be a front-facing hip thrust. So if this is my home base right here, my right foot is going to go forward, push that hip. That's the hip thrust. Come back together, change feet. Left foot forward and together. Now right, go forward and together. Now left, forward. Let's see the Vavai cam so you can see forward on the right and forward on the left. Again, forward on the right and forward on the left. Now, my Kumu would always say, make sure that the heels are not being distracting or that the heels are not tucking. So watch my heels. This would be wrong, right? If I step forward and my heel pops up like this. Yeah, I'm just facing to the side so that you can sort of see. My kumu, le momii, she really didn't want the heel to pop up like that. She wanted it to be flat. So when we do this step, keep the back foot and you use that power to push the hip in the opposite direction. So try and keep the back heel down as much as possible. Okay, back to the regular view. Kavelu, front, right foot, go forward and together and forward and together. Again, to the right and then to the left. Now, sometimes this will go forward and back. So let's try that. Forward on the right and back on the left. One more time. Forward on the right and back on the left. That's another variation of this basic step. So you can already see we've only covered, I think, four different steps, but so many different ways that you can change it to get a different effect. Okay. The uh, second to last one that I want to go over with you is a variation on Cavelu called Cavelu Holo. For the Cavelu Holo, you're going to do that front facing hip thrust, but we're going to double it up and we're going to move. So for this one, instead of going only one time, we're going to do two times with the right foot. So it's going to go forward, back, forward, back, but we're also going to travel to the side. Okay, so out to the right side first. So instead of stepping just straight forward, you're actually going to step out to the right. Yep. Then move the left foot behind, bring the right foot together, and then out to the right and behind. So you're inching over towards this. I almost fell over. Inching over to this direction as you go. Okay, so this time, let's go to the left. Ready, set, here we go. Left, move, and to the left. Always inching. Now right foot, right. And inching over each time to the right. And now left. Here we go to the left. And again to the left. One more time to the right. And to the right. Now last time to the left. And left. So that's what we call the Kavelu Holo. So you might get that there um, in, in, the, in the choreography as well. Okay, last step. I know this is a lot. The last step that you're going to need in these first two verses is called the lele uwehe. Lele uwehe, there's a couple of different variations. The one that we're going to need is going to have a point. So for this one, um, I'll hold my skirt up a little bit, but you can put your hands on your waist. You're going to step to the right, and your left foot is going to point right in front, and then bring it together. And then the heels lift and pop. Okay, then we're going to go towards the left. Step, point, together, uwehe. Go to the right. Right, point, together, uwehe. Left, point. There's a little rise and fall of the body as your um, knees rise and fall into that lele uwehe. Right, and together, uwehe. Left, and together, uwehe. Right. And together, last time to the left, point together, uwehe. So those are all of the basic steps that we're going to need. Um, right now, I'm actually going to put on a little bit of music, and we're going to try. I'm going to call out these basics. We're just going to do a little bit of exercise um, at the beginning to go through all of those basic steps. Okay, so here we go. I didn't even choose which song, so let me just going to mute this and mute this and we're going to do our song. Here we go. Can you hear that? 
that. Nope. Might need a speaker. Sorry. <sighs> I'm out of practice, guys. Losing it. Miss one day. Okay, ready? Hands on your waist. Bend your knees. Ka-o. Ka-holo. Good. Imua and ihope. Ka-holo. Forward. And back. And forward. And back. Ka-o. Oh, I forgot. This one has a little weird timing. Okay, wait. I kind of use this song. This is why. This is live and I'm like, on the fly that's not really gonna work okay let me choose a different song um but uh but uh but uh but uh but um what song should we do da, 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 da. I, I don't i really have no idea what song to use okay here we go hopefully this one will work let me kill all the vocals sorry we're doing this on the fly gang okay here we go Hopefully this one will be better. Oh my gosh, very fast. Ka-o. No, this is too, too fast. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just gonna call it. There's gonna be no music. I'm just gonna call the steps. You can do it, okay? You can listen. Because the songs that I'm choosing on the fly, terrible. Okay, put your hands on your waist. <laughs> Bend your knees down. Ready, set, ka-o, go, right? and left right and left i didn't drink enough coffee to dance that fast <gasps> right kaholo to the right together right tap left together left tap kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left kaholo to the right and oh turning to the side go forward and turn forward and turn again Forward and turn. And kaholo to the right. Here we go. To the right. Two, three. And to the left. Two, three. Kaholo. Right. Two, three. And left. Lele uwehe. Step right. Point together. Uwehe. Left. Point together. Uwehe. Right. Point together. Uwehe. Kaholo. Going to the right. And kavelu holo, here we go. Going forward and side and forward, other side, left one, left and back and left. Kaholo, right and left. Kaholo to the right. Imua ihope, going forward, holo, right, two, three, and back, two, three, again, holo forward, two, three. And ka'o, sway, gentle sway, right, left, lele uwehe, stepping to the side, step right, point together, uwehe, left, point together, uwehe, right, point together, uwehe, left, and ka'holo to the right, two, three, and left, and ku. Very good. Okay, so we're going to move into our song right now. So our song is called Maki Ailana. Maki Ailana. So I want to show this to you on um, the lyrics first. So you might be familiar with this song. It is written by James K. E. E. And it has five verses. It goes like this. Maki Ailana Ke Alohala Aina Ika Ehu. So that's how the melody goes. Hopefully you're a little bit familiar with it. But I wanted to share with you a little bit of background about the song before we jump into reviewing. So first off, Maki Ailana was named for a person um, and a place. So Ailana means island and Maki was actually the last name of Captain James McKee. So let me show you his pictures first. This is Captain James McKee and his ohana. Now, um, my husband behind the camera and I, we were kind of joking a little bit, like, 
Captain McKee looks like he has seen better days. You know, he has kind of a little bit moo moo face. And uh, <laughs> anyways, there is actually accounts of stories that Captain McKee was the captain of a whaling ship that came to Hawaii. And just before he was to harbor um, here in the islands, he was attacked by one of his own stewards on the ship. It was actually a Spaniard from Guam uh, who attacked him in his sleep with a hatchet and hit him over the head multiple times. Um, and so I believe that he might not have always looked exactly like this, maybe a little bit more symmetrical, but um, <laughs> he had to um, be taken off of the ship to receive medical treatment for the attack on him by the steward on his ship. Um, once he was here in Hawaii, he fell in love with the place and actually became uh, a well-known businessman. So you'll see here some pictures of him and his family in Lahaina, Maui. He actually um, retired and passed away at a ranch up there, which um, was originally called Ulupalakua Ranch because it was in Ulupalakua, but um, officially later was known as the Rose Ranch. I think there was another Ulupalakua Ranch that is more famous, but anyways... The Rose Ranch was owned by Captain James McKee, and he left behind many, many, many uh, sons and their wives. Um, and so that, that is a picture of them. Now, what does that have to do with the song that we are learning? Well, uh, Maki Ailana is actually a place. Again, I said Ailana means island. So I wanted to show you this map. Maki Ailana is actually right here. Um, if you see the, sorry. The red arrow uh, that you see right there is um, pointing to the place. Uh, there's kind of like a long uh, cylindrical, uh, I, I don't want to say what it looks like, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's actually a, a mass of land that is surrounded by water. And that is Maki Ailana. So there was... Um, place there it was a little tricky to get to and which made it even more exciting for young couples to try to get there and have trysts uh you know with with their lover so they would meet there and I, I thought it was um where Kapi'olani Park is now but looking at this map it's closer to where the zoo entrance is so it's right on the corner there where the zoo entrance and the big banyan tree that is where Maki Ailana was located, Maki's Island, a, a fun place for couples to go and uh, for, for a nice time, go to Maki Ailana, right? Um, if you look on this map, just to kind of give you a, a sense of place, just to the side, further um, along beyond Maki Ailana, you see that cylindrical, or is it, what is it called, oval um, track, and that was actually for horse racing, and they would even do bike racing um, carriage racing there on the track. So this is an old, old map. What does it say from? 1883. So this is um, that. And McKee, Captain James McKee, how he was connected with this is he was one of the, the first presidents of the Kapi'olani Park Association. So he was one of the first to say, hey, this would be a great place for a park and fairgrounds. So it was actually on June 11th, Kamehameha Day, which is coming up in just a few days, that Kapi'olani Park was um, dedicated for the first time, and there were lots of fun things that happened there at Kapi'olani Park. I wanted to show you a few more pictures of Maki Ailana in its glory days. So you'll see on this side right over here, this is Maki Ailana, uh, Maki Island on uh, Kapi'olani Park. This is from a postcard. So you see it's all surrounded by water. There was some palms, um, also some ironwood trees. If you look on this side, this is from, let's see, the 1900s, around the 1900s. So you see a bridge here. Now the bridge wasn't going to Maki Island. That was going to another place. I'll show you how you got to Maki Island uh, in the next shot. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> not a bridge <laughs> mostly mostly people would row small dinghies and rowboats to get to Maki Ailana so you see there uh, the ladies in the boat and the men resting because it was so hard to get 
and row there and pull the boat ashore. So these are some images from old, old Waikiki area. Um, and I hope that you can get a feeling for this Maki Ailana. Okay, so now back to Hula. Enough history lessons. First, first, let's do a little bit of review. So Maki Ailana, you're going to touch your hands right alongside your um, hip bones or where your hip bones used to be, I should say. And you're going to make a circular motion and you're going to go like this. Now, I'm, I choreographed this hula before I knew that Maki Ailana was not round. It was actually long, <laughs> but who cares? Let's just go with it. Okay, so we're going to touch here. Maki Ailana. And then we're going to make the long the longness of the island. Ke aloha. You're going to bring your hands up to cross. Aloha. Then forward. La. Okay, so try one more time. Touch by your hips. Maki ailana. Ke aloha. La. Then on aina, aina means land. So you're going to flip your hands, palms down, and bring them to about hip level. Aina i ka ehu. For the ehu o ke kai, you're going to do the sea spray because the, um, although it was surrounded by brackish water, the um, kai or the sea was just across the way. So you could definitely smell that salty water coming off of the ocean in the wind. So you're going to wave to the right, to the left, to the right, and to the left. Your vamp in between all of your verses is going to go side and front. And side. Here we go. Maki Ailana. Maki Ailana. Ke Aloha La. Aina Ika Ehu. Ehu O Ke Kai. And then we get our vamp. So, of course, your vamp is going to be a kaholo, right and left, very simply. Kaholo to the right. And kaholo to the left. Now, when you get to that island, we're going to move our body. That's how we're going to get the length of this island. So we're going to kaholo forward on the right. Holo to the right. Maki. And then back left. Ailana. Then we get one ka'o. Ke'a. And then we're going to bring it kaholo to the left. Lohala. And then open, turning to the side. Okay, so that was three kaholos. One was to bring it up, two was to bring it forward, and three was to open and turn your body towards this left-hand side wall. Okay, let's go from Maki Ailana. Your feet are going to start before the verse sings. Okay, ready? And here we go to the right. Maki Ailana. Ka'o one time. Ke aloha la. Turning to the side. Aina. Now your Aina land motion is going to be two hands are right across from each other like this, but you're facing towards this wall. Your your right foot is gonna go. Ika ehu. Then ehu oke kai. This ocean motion is gonna be a kavalu holo, pumping with the left leg forward. Ehu oke kai. Try that whole first verse again. Holo to the right. And kaholo maki ailana forward right. Maki ailana ke aloha la. Open and turn towards the side. Aina ika ehu ehu o ke kai. Side and front. Side and very good. Okay, so let's try it with the track. If you have any questions, be sure to type them into the comments and then Luke will let me know. Very good. What is Fern's question while I'm teeing this all up? Oh, we need to lose the words. Is the boat the rocking chair? So you got it. There are two um, metaphors, shall we say, in this song that reminds us that this is a song about lovers and the activities of lovers. So one is the boat and the water, the rocking, and one is the rocking chair. And I think Fern has it right on, on the um, 
on the button, which is the rocking chair and the water and the boat are one and the same. So we haven't even really talked about the rocking chair yet, but we'll get there. Fern, A plus, A plus for you. Okay, here we go. Maki Ailana, let's turn the vocals back on. Here we go. Ka'o four times. Polo. Maki Ailana. Okay, great. We have another question from the audience. This is my favorite part about live classes since I can't see you. Our question is, Kumo, do we touch the upper arms when they're crossed in ke aloha la? That is a great question. For the most part, whenever I do love motions, I always float everything just to give the motion a little bit more space, take up a bit more space with my motions. So I think for those of you that don't know what part um, Kanoe is talking about, is here. When you bring your hands up here, when I'm crossing my hands here, they're not touching. Or if they are, it's by accident. <laughs> okay? And then forward and then open. So for me, even though the illusion is that it is an embrace, if you were to look from the side, there's always a little bit of space here. And part of that is just as a performer, that if you do this, it just doesn't look very pretty. The angles are off and, you know, it, it, nothing falls nicely. So anytime I'm doing a cross motion, although you can't really see it, I'm always leaving space between my arms and my body. I'm not touching here unless it's very specific. Like, you know, I'm, I'm plucking like a, a rain that pinches the skin or something. But for the most part, it's all an illusion of, of touching and holding. Kind of like a relationship. It's all like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, babe. Just kidding. It's all an illusion. Shall we try that verse one more time before I get myself in trouble with the cameraman? Okay, here we go. First verse. <laughs> Long intro. So we're going to start with Kao four times. If you want, hold your skirt. Kaholo Maki Ailana Maki Ailana Ke Aloha Aina Ika Ehu Ehu Oke Ka Follow, look beyond the fingertips Maki Ailana Follow the right hand Maki Ailana Look over right, all the way up to the shoulder, forward, and turn. So the second verse, when James K.E.E. -E wrote this, I can imagine that he was using all of these different literary devices and um, the, the poetic literary devices that our hakumele or composers use were to help the singers who have to learn so many lines um, of verses and, you know, keep them all straight. So when hakumele composers would write songs, they would try to leave little clues for the dancers and for the singers so that they would know what verse comes up next. So in this case, verse number two starts with the word Elua, right? Elua means two. So this, this verse says, Elua ekolu. There were two or three of us. 
maybe they're talking about couples. There were two or three couples, or there were two or three of us. I don't know. This song is really, uh, the kauna of it is really just mind-boggling. So I'll leave you to your imagination. Elua e kolu no mako, there were two or three of us. Ika ailana ma here here on that charming little island. So after you finish your vamp, holo to the side and front and side and front. Your right hand that's out in front of you is going to continue past the center of your body toward the 45 degree angle. And you're going to do a number two. And you're actually going to look in that direction. Don't stare at the camera. <laughs> okay. So you're going to follow across. And then when it reaches to the other 45 degree angle, you're going to bring up the third finger. Yeah? So you're going to Elua e kolu. Nomako means of us. So you're going to flip that right hand over. And then you're going to gather all of your friends together. Your left hand is going to stretch all the way out opposite of the other hand. And it's going to circle around and then come in to your chest. And then flip over, yeah? Mako is a very important word in Hawaiian because it means us. And it's sort of a us, not you, yeah? So in, in language, we call that we three inclusive or three plus inclusive. So there were at least three of us, maybe more. And we're talking about us, not you. Okay, so there was a little bit of secretiveness about this Maki Ailana, right? You don't tell everybody, hey, everybody, let's all go to Maki Ailana. It was a little bit secret, maybe illegal, um, but, you know, you have to kind of keep it hush-hush. So, Elua is number two. Elua e kolu of us. No ma kou. And down. That's it. Ika Ailana. Ma hie hie. So I have to figure out which, which foot I'm on. Let's do the feet. Let's add the feet together to this, okay? So we're going to kaholo to the right first. Elua e kolu on no ma ko. We're going to do one kao. There's that one extra kao. And we're going to turn at the same time. We get the kaholo ao. Side. And holo to the in. And then ka'o, ka'o. Okay, so that was a little bit tricky. You're going to only ka'holo ao out to one side. And then bring your hands in. And then sway, sway. Kind of like you're looking out. Does anybody see us? No, nobody saw us. Okay. Okay, let's try elua e kolu. Ka'holo to the right with your right hand across. Ready, set, here we go. Elua e no ma ko. Look side and side. Ika Okay, now for this island, we're going to lock our right hand in. And the left hand is going to make a straight land. And then the right hand is going to join it. Then ma here, here, you're going to lift it up like this. So you're saying, oh, it's so charming. Isn't it lovely here? Okay, so one hand, two hands. And then lift. That's the whole verse. Now, the tricky part about this ailana motion is we're going to do a lele uehe, starting with the left foot. So you're going to lele uehe to the left, point together, uehe, right, point together, uehe, kaholo to the left. That's the whole verse. Da 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 Elua number two. Elua e kolu no ma kou. Look side to side. Ika ilana ma hie hie. Holo to the side. One more time. Elua, continue your hand across from here. Elua e Kolu turning no ma ko. Look side to side. Ika ilana ma hie hie. Side front, side and front. Now there's a lot of kind of funky angles in this one. 
So we do have one other um, camera angle that may be helpful for you to see those angles. So here we go. We have our overhead cam. This one, Elua Ekolu, just to point out, it does start at this forward angle. Yeah, it's not straight in front and it's not to the side, but right here at the angle. So you're going to kaholo to the right. Elua, stop at this angle. Ekolu. Then this one, you're going to flip and turn. Notice my foot is doing a weird thing down below. It's already turning this way like pigeon toe. So, no. Then we're going to turn to the back. Ma -ko. And then holo. Ooh. Then look side to side, left and right. E -ka -a -e -la -na. Ma -hi -e -e. Try that one more time in this angle. Da 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 da. Elua number two to the angle. Elua e kolu no ma kolu. Look side to side. La le uhe ika ila na ma hi e hi e holo. And holo. Yeah, your hand should actually be on your waist from the kaholo. So when you do elua e kolu, it should already be on your waist. I think I did it differently a second ago. So, all right, let's come back to the regular view and try elua e kolu. <laughs> So that was verse two. Let's try just verse two one more time before we try putting it all together. Any more questions? Not yet? Okay. Elua e kolu. Follow. Try and follow your hands. Elua e kolu. Look beyond. The challenge is putting it all together. Verse number one and verse number two. And also knowing that there's three more verses for us to cover in the next three weeks. But don't worry. We'll make it through. We'll just do a little bit here and there. So let's have a goal to um, practice this verse one and two um, back to back three times. And then we'll be done for today. Okay? You're doing a great job. Let us know if you have questions or things that are um, oh, we do have a question. Yes. What is it? On no, is it a reaching motion with the flip of the palm or just the flip? Hmm. The more I dance it, um, I am feeling that I'm actually moving towards that hand. So that's a really good question. Let me try to see if I know what you're talking about. So after Elua, Elua, e kolu, no. I am actually stepping a little bit forward instead of just a ka'o, instead of just turning and flipping. I am actually reaching out this way. 
And I think where that's coming from is the intent of this motion is meant to gather all of our people. Yeah, let's all gather together. If we're talking about two or three couples, maybe that's six people. It's like, okay, let's get them and all of our friends over there and then bring them together. So, yes, long answer to a short question is you are sort of reaching and moving this way and then change directions like herding cats right herding everybody all together we got to get back on the boat it's almost sundown that kind of feel okay great question good observation thank you for catching that sometimes it's best to do as i do and not as i say <laughs> just dance how i dance it no big okay awesome great questions everybody keep them coming here we go verses one and two our first time through you guys want lyrics make it easiest with lyrics We'll lose the lyrics after. Ka'o, sway. And holo, hands on the waist. Maki ay ay lana. time before we go into the next two times I want to talk about something very important which is the idea of kahea so the word kahea means to call kahea means to call out and um, for the recording I've actually put the kahea onto the recording mainly so that I the kumu <laughs> can have a chance to breathe because I'm dancing and teaching and singing and doing the kahea is too much for me <laughs> So generally when you're dancing, the kahea or the calling out of the verse will not be included on every single recording unless you're using like Uncle Kimo Alama Keolana's recordings where he always puts the kahea. Generally, that's the hula dancer's job. That's your job. So I want you to practice because if you're not going to use my recording, which you shouldn't be using my recording, you should use someone else's fabulous recording of this song. Um, the kahea won't be on there for you. And so I want you to practice doing the kahea. There are different ways that you can do the kahea, but generally it's going to be the first word or the first phrase that makes sense. So if you look at verse number one, you'll see maki could be the kahea, just maki. But because the song is called maki ailana, I like the kahea to be maki ailana. And you can definitely fit it in there. For the musicians, the best time for you to say that is at the beginning of the second kaholo. So what I mean, on the vamp, you're doing this is one kaholo, and as soon as you take that step, that is when the, the musicians need that kahea because they have to think, what verse is coming up? And sometimes if they're not dancing, it might be hard for them to remember. So I want you to practice with me. We're all going to say, Maki Ailana on the second kaholo. So right now, let's just practice. Ready? This is not optional. You have to do this part with me. Okay, ready? Holo to the right. And here we go. Maki Ailana. That's it. Okay? We're going to do that now three times in a row, as if we were just going to go vamp, vamp, vamp. And every time you do this side, you're going to say Maki Ailana. You can do it. Ready, set, here we go to the side. And Maki Ailana again to the side. 
and kahea. Maki Ailana again. Kaholo kaheas. Maki Ailana. That's it. Okay? Look at the second verse. The word that we need to just say is elua, which means do. That's very helpful for the musicians. If you say elua, oh, phew, I know what verse is coming up next. Okay? So let's try elua this time. Three times. Ready? And vamp. Here we go. Side. Kahea. Elua, one more time. Kaholo to the right. Elua, I know everybody in your house thinks you're crazy. Keep going. Here we go. Elua, perfect. Very good. Okay, so this time through, I challenge you to try out the kahea because most recordings won't have it recorded on the music for you, and you got to know what's coming up next. I promise it will help your hula if you can know what's coming up next, not just the kahea, but the next motion, the next foot motion, um, the next word. Okay, here we go. All the way from the beginning, trying the kahea. Start with the sway. Then lift the hands to the waist. Here we go. Maki Ailana. Very good. how that goes give me a thumbs up if it was okay maybe a heart or a hug if it was like really great or you can give me mad faces if you like if it was like really terrible for you to do the kahea i know it's hard and generally in a in a halal there's probably going to be like one super eleo student like kanoi out there i know you do kahea and things like that um you know i was always the one that got stuck calling for all of my hula sisters because i knew what verse is coming up next but in this day and age, you're dancing all by yourself. You got to know what verse is coming up next on your own. So I challenge you to do that. I see some hearts coming in. I didn't see too many mad faces. So good job. All right. Let's wrap up by doing it one final time. Verse one and two, two times each. Up to you if you want to challenge yourself to do kahe or you want to just focus on the dance. And um, yeah, we'll try it without lyrics this time. Always upping the bar. This Kumo, man, she does not give us a break. Okay, you got this. Here we go. Maki Ailana. Kao. Kaholo. Maki Ailana.
awesome job. Way to go challenging yourself to do all of the verses and the kahe and everything. I know it's more than we have had to do in a long time. So thank you so much for doing your best and always coming back to practice. The replay of today's video will be available here on Facebook very soon after we end. And then it will also be available on our YouTube channel. So if you don't already, um, please head over to um, youtube.com slash napuahala and you can find our YouTube channel there. You can go ahead and subscribe so you'll never miss a video. It's actually a lot easier to find replays on YouTube than it is on Facebook. I don't know why, but Facebook um, likes to hide videos from people. I don't know. So all of the replays from this and all of our hula lessons is up on YouTube for you to check out. So be sure to subscribe there. Thank you again for being a part of our global hula ohana. It just is mind-blowing that we have people joining us from Mexico and Japan and all over the United States. It's really warms my heart to know that you all are here for practice every single week. So thanks for being here on Tuesdays. If you'd like to join us, we will be back on Saturday with our regularly scheduled Ohana Hula Saturday at 9 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. So we hope to see you folks then. If not, we'll see you next week or another time. Keep on practicing and ahui ho.